All right, lads, so yesterday we got the three new characters for the end of month of January. And with that, we're going to be showcasing all three characters on the channel over the next couple of days. So make sure to subscribe for that. But for today, let's showcase one of the more cooler characters in the game. That being the mana version of Yuma Chica. And shout out to Envy for letting me showcase this Yuma Chica today. Now, besides this character, unironically being one of the better characters in the entire game, it's also really cool that they did this all for a seasonal Yuma Chica. Yuma Chica, as a character in general, only has like one character in game. He's been severely underrepresented in this game. So not only is it nice to get a new Yuma Chica, it's nice to get a really powerful one and also one in a seasonal outfit looking as cool as this character does. But in Yuma Chica's case, he is a power cyber character with the Aranka kill ability, which I think is pretty good. It's been a minute since we have received a power character with the Aranka kill ability, at least a really good one like this Yuma Chica, and he is an SP based carrier. Now, the whole thing about this character is that he is going to be the ultimate power farmer because what you'll see here is he has plus five increased super link swap potions for the technique attribute and also plus five increased super link swap potions once more for the technique attribute. But it's not done there because he also increases the technique droplet drop rate by 30%. So all in one with this seasonal Yuma Chica, you're farming all three items that you're going to need to power up your characters. Now, what makes this character even better is that he does have a good set of strong attacks, a 60% increase on his strong attack damage, with an additional 20% strong attack damage that you can give to your entire team. You're increasing their movement speed, so you're giving two types of buffs to your team or party, and that's also good because, again, he is a farming character. You want to use this character in the co-op content where you best farm items. So the fact that he increases the drop rate for those items and also buffs your team twice, I think is actually really good. He heals them too. And then one of the best skills in the entire game, Guard Break plus Pierce Iron Skin. In Inheritance Trials, if you don't inflict the stats is on enemies take 80% less damage. Just like Fowers in your Blood with Ichigo, and just like Fowers in your Blood with Uryu, this Yumichika goes through that. And it's one of the most broken skills in the entire game, and it unironically makes this Yumichika one of the best power characters or best characters in general in the game. So, with that said, let's jump into some content and showcase this distinguished fine gentleman. So firstly, let's drop into a single player IT quest just to quickly demonstrate his strong attacks and how he does perform when he's by himself. In this case, really good strong attacks. His SA1 is going to be a 1200 by 1200 in front of him. It's actually a pretty good strong attack despite having some small type of radius. But in addition to that, he also starts with an SA2, which is like a AOE around him. It doesn't have the best range and ID. I don't usually like that type of strong attack, but it's still a good one nonetheless. So what you're seeing from this SA1 and 2 is that they hit quite hard. As you can see here, we're basically one-shotting and keep in mind, we are in Inheritance Trials. We don't have killer here, but we're doing quite well. His SA3 is going to be a full screen around him, and with the 20% Havoc, overall, this character's range isn't too bad for the strong attacks that he does have. His attacks come out very quick, and at this point, even without killer, we're basically one-shotting. Even on Natrick, is going to be hitting quite hard. But I guess I will say for a ranged character, he doesn't have the best range, but it's not really much of a deal-breaker. Caleb McClay trying to balance this character here by giving these farming characters, even though he has Pierce Iron Skin, he doesn't have, like, a super omega broken kit. But in this case, we're already into the final final boss. This has gone so quick. Let's use our sub bomb and look at that. Done and easy. Super quick and it mainly just comes down to that one skill, Pierce Iron Skin. It's the most broken skill in the game in my opinion as it makes hard content like IT quite trivial. In this case, we won't even try and go for a fast click demo, and we cleared in under 1 minute and 30 seconds. So jump into our next run then. Let's see if we can actually clear a tab bit faster here. Already got inflicted by poison, so we're already through a bad start, but it's fine. We're going to allow it. Mainly just because we know we're going to heal next up in our next room. Can we heal right up here? Yes, we can. Look at that. That's what I like about this character. You know, that extra 20% team is actually really good. Great for survivability. And again, the fact that it's a team ability is also really good because it will definitely help out your teammates, especially Momos that might be during your lobby, right? That's one of the main reasons why I'm excited about this character. It's simply because Momo, it might be a hot take, but I feel like she's the Khan for your world Kenpachi of the Super Links of characters. I feel like she's terrible to play with, especially when she does not kill her. And this Yuma Chica basically means that I don't ever have to play with her again. So this run really wasn't the best run. Definitely didn't optimize it the best I could, but it's fine. We're just going to go into it. 87k in the salt bomb, and we were able to clean under a minute. 54 seconds, that's again quite impressive for a character of this caliber. The fact that you can easily clear content like IT super quick and also give you the bonus drop rates, that's quite good. That's quite good. All right, so jumping into Cobb IT, 
First thing I've got to say when actually playing with this character is, again, the lack of range definitely is noticeable. It's not that big of a deal, right? He does have still some good strong attacks, but at least in this particular IT, where keep in mind, he doesn't have killers, so we are still doing less damage. Yes, the Pierce Iron Skin definitely does help, and it makes him usable in any inheritance trials, regardless of killer. But still, the lack of killer does lower our DPS quite a bit. Most importantly, though, when against the bosses. You're going to see throughout this entire run that we're easily going through all of these enemies, regardless of the type of enemy but when we get to the boss stages that's when we get our first sense of difficulty and it doesn't help that some of the Yumachikas in our run here doesn't use their soul bomb on the bosses that does slow our run down just a tad bit so common etiquette lads when it comes to cop content when a boss spawns in you gotta use your soul bomb otherwise you're making the run a lot harder but even despite that drawback of our teammates not using the soul bomb we're still going for it relatively easy one thing I do want to mention is the fact this character is not immune to poison since he is a pop farm character for five skills even were more so designed for carb content he doesn't have any immunities just like any other pot farmer though this is the same for someone like the safi karname if that was in your blood or order you they aren't immune to stazament and when you have a stage like this that has a bunch of poison pools you want to make sure you can be immune to poison so you can have an easy time navigating the map making it easier for you to dodge these enemies and these enemies are quite difficult those rolling hollows can definitely catch you off guard here so if you can giving this character a bonus ability with a status and duration soul trait would definitely be ideal here just so they can stand whatever you want to unfortunately i wasn't able to do that on this particular run but it's definitely something you should be doing if you're trying to farm a particular inheritance trials but other than that i'm pretty impressed with the outcome with a team like this despite us having a few drawbacks again no soul bombs on the bosses and using two soul bombs on the final boss when that really wasn't needed we got a pretty good clear time overall we cleared in around two minutes and four seconds which actually isn't too bad again keep in mind he doesn't have killer most of the teammates in our lobby were only one out of five so to get a two minute clear time with a bunch of randoms when you don't even have killer is impressive definitely is impressive once we do have a ronka it whenever that comes back around it's going to be a lot easier you're going to get faster clear times easier clear times and again all those extra potions because look at that end of the run you know 40 plus super links of potions in every run plus the additional links of potions too it's a nice little bonus you know you're not really farming it for normal potions but you do get them on top while also farming the super links of potions right so overall not too bad but to finish off the video, let's take Yumachika into Epic Raids because keep in mind, again, he is also a Link Swap Farmer and Droplet Increase character. So we're basically getting both here. In this case, we have a pretty wild team here. But Yumachika is going to make for a great support. All the damage that he does have is going to be quite consistent since he does have three melee collision attacks, which is obviously ideal for Epic Raid content like this. Giving him weakened defense as a bonus ability might be something you want to do here. We're going to actually do that. We actually don't need to. The Yama used his Soul Bomb. But keep in mind, we also do buff our team's strong attack damage by 20% so that's also allowing every person in this lobby even the Momo to get 20% more damage on their strong attacks so even in a situation like this where we won't even bring in a four pot team we are still able to help out these teammates someone like Yamoto for example to do a tad bit more damage in this case we were able to clear 50 million HP on a particular boss in under 40 seconds in a full link shot lobby when we have like no Yamamoto you definitely want to bring some good characters and the power attribute for the most part is kind of lackluster when it comes to link shot farmers I will admit but they are starting to get better we got the most recent Christmas Yoruichi she's a team booster with the booster skill basically replacing Momo we have Kenta who's really good in this particular epic raid and then now we have someone like Yuma Chika who does do some respectable damage you know 80% Berserker essentially buffs your team and also increases the link sort potions and droplets you do get in every individual run so with that said Yuma Chika is a pretty damn good character with good strong attacks really cool looking visuals I mean it's Yuma Chika I never thought I'd actually see this and have fun with a Yuma Chika but here we are but yeah the value he offers is definitely high definitely a character you want to pick up whether that's now on this particular banner or somewhere down the year in 2023 i don't have him on my main i'll get him sometime eventually right i'm not rushing to get him but he is a great character to have when he has killed in it he's gonna be a great character but even regardless of that if you can get a team of four yumachikas that know what to do you're gonna go for it relatively quick quicker than basically any other character let's be honest since he does have the pierce iron skin and you're getting the bonus link shot potions super link shot potions and if you want to take this character into epic raids you definitely can do that he's gonna do some respectable damage himself buff the team and also increase the amount of droplets and links up potion you do get one of the better characters in the game in my opinion one of the better power characters and one of the most viable characters you can have on bleach brave souls especially when it comes to the power attribute so with that said hope you lads enjoyed the video in the comments below let me know what you left think about this and i'll see you lads next time take care and peace